हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट मेबेंडासोल मेबेंडासोल इज ए पेंसी इमिडासोल डिराइवेटिव दिस मेबेंडासोल इज ए कंजेनर ऑफ थायोबेंडासोल दैट मींस इट इज रिलेटेड टू थायोबेंडासोल इट हैज बीन डिराइव फ्रॉम थायोबेंडासोल मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन इज मेबेंडासोल बाइंड्स टू द बीटा ट्यूब्यूलिन प्रेजेंट इन द वर्म्स बीटा ट्यूब्यूलिन इज प्रेजेंट इन माइक्रो ट्यूब्यूल्स and once it binds to beta tubulin it will inhibit the polymerization of the microtubules and thus here the intracellular microtubules in the cells are lost then this mebendazole also blocks the glucose uptake in parasites if it blocks the glucose uptake in parasites and it will cause depletion of glycogen stores it blocks the glucose uptake in parasites and causes depletion of glycogen stores it inhibits the hatching of eggs and larva pharmacokinetics mebendazol causes less intestinal absorption and here the drug stays in the lumen and also acts on intestinal nematodes and is excreted in the feces here the drug stays in the lumen acts on the intestinal nematodes which are also present in the lumen and it is and and the drugs are being excreted the drug is excreted in feces along with the nematodes are also excreted in the feces side effects are it causes gi side effects like nausea vomiting and diarrhea then it also causes hypersensitivity reactions and it causes agranulocytosis and alopecia then the uses of mebendazole if you see it it is used it is used in uh, treating roundworm hookworm and also enterobius vermicularis so this mebendazole is contraindicated in pregnancy then the next important drug here is albendazole now this albendazole the metabolism of this albendazole is almost always almost same as mebendazole so this albendazol gets converted into albendazol sulfoxide and this albendazol sulfoxide can also penetrate the brain so as a result once it penetrates the brain it can be used for neurocystis sarcosis so if you see the pharmacokinetics uh, albendazol is a single dose administration it is an oral drug and this albendazol increases the absorption it is it increases its absorption is increased with fatty foods so it is used mainly for the tissue nematodes for intestinal nematodes it should be given on empty stomach so if you see if you wanted to use this albendazole for tissue nematodes then you will have to ask the patient to take it after meals because only after meals that is after taking fatty meals this albendazole gets absorbed into the blood stream and thus it can go to the tissues whereas in intestinal nematodes for intestinal nematodes if the patient takes this drug on empty stomach then these these nematodes will be so then the drug will stay in the lumen itself and these nematodes will be killed in the lumen then this albendazole also enters the brain and it causes neurocystis sarcosis then if you see the side effects we have gi side effects like it causes dizziness headache fever it causes alopecia jaundice and it also causes neutropenia then it also causes hypersensitivity reactions then the next important uh, drug is thiabendazole thiabendazole is almost same as mebendazole but it is no longer used so these are the important three drugs which is mebendazole albendazole and thiabendazole thank you for watching